The third and final event of the co-sanctioned series took place at the Vertical of Golf Club, a true gem of a layout in Tuane. And from start to finish, the week belonged to Rikus Nokia. Nokia coming off a tie for second place at Glendower the previous week, got right into the groove over the Vertical of layout, firing an opening 65 to get his campaign going on the right note. He excelled in all areas, but one club stood out. At this stage, definitely my driver. My driver is very good. Wedge game is also pretty solid. And then my putting uh, within 10 foot has been quite strong. Uh, I think I've only missed one or two, but it also it was one or two tough putts. Uh, you don't really get a lot of easy putts around here, so I'm pretty happy with my putting as well. Nokia moved from George to Harting and now coaches on the side, but doesn't let his own game get too bogged down in technicalities. I'm definitely more field player. I just believe uh, you can't be too mechanical. You still you still need feel, so it's uh, it's definitely more more feel. Nokia, in a bid to refine his own game, joined the Biedman de Toy coaching academy staff, and the young man is enjoying his teaching role. I actually started working for them in beginning of January, uh, doing a bit of coaching, and uh, they've also been helping me out quite a bit with my swing and everything. And I must say, the whole setup, everything is phenomenal. They've really taught me how to practice. If I had a bucket of balls a day at this stage, it's, it's quite a bit. But I think I'm actually using that hour, hour and a half that I used to hit a bucket of balls a lot more effectively than I used to use a whole day. Rikus's big easy results have shown the positive effect of efficient practice. He is a self-proclaimed student of the game. I love it. I mean, uh, every now and then Hendrik will mention something. I'll just jump straight onto Google, Google it, look it up, uh, look at a couple of things and uh, yeah, just try to get as much information about the stuff as possible. I'm not quite as scientific as Bryson DeChambeau, but <laughs> to me, I love the mental part of the game. I love talking to the students about it, uh, just uh, trying to find out what they feel through around, what they think through around, what they think on certain shots, and that helps me quite a bit as well. Keen to develop as a player, these co-sanctioned Big Easy events have been a real boost for players like Rikus. For us it's amazing to actually compete against uh, the guys from, from overseas and stuff. This is a great opportunity to really see where you are, if you are ready for the Sunshine Tour, for the main tour, uh, if you can go forward. With victory at the Big Easy, the Raw event at Vartikluf, Rikus Nokia's game and career is definitely going forward.